Hey guys and welcome. All right, so I saw Alice Through the Looking Glass last week. I didn't get a chance to do a review for that. I want to give you a quick review of that. Alice Through the Looking Glass. I was really highly looking forward to this. I was thinking, great, they're gonna they did a really good job with the first one. I thoroughly enjoyed the first one. And I'm thinking they're probably gonna step it up and do more and introduce more characters that we have never seen before from the books. It disappointed me. I it was it was an okay movie. It was just alright. You know, nothing to go home and go, woo! Let me go write something about this. Let me go tell the friends, hey, you gotta check this movie out. This movie was amazing. No, it didn't do that for me. It just left me like, eh, it was right. There was a few good, you know, time jokes in there. It was more like a time traveling movie with Alice in it. And I don't know. It was kind of like, it was, it was just all right. It wasn't, you know, none of the go, woo. If you're gonna go see it, see a matinee, uh, if you have to see it or wait for video, pretty much. That's pretty much how I feel about the movie. <laughs> The younger kids definitely will enjoy it. That's that's a given. They'll definitely enjoy it. The bright colors and the 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 Tweedledee and Tweedledum. That that was you know those were definitely great comedic moments. But all in all, you know, it's just eh, it was just all right. You know, they dealt with a lot of backstory between you know uh, the, the queen and her sister. They dealt with a lot of that and you know things that you can't mend with you know time. No matter what you could do, it was just a lot of a lot of that going on, and it just. I don't know, it could have been a whole lot better. Uh, it just, it just left a, ugh. And of course, it was Alan Rickman's last movie, too. And of course, we all know he voiced Absalom, and that was it. That was, that, that's it. That, this was his last movie, and I'm just kind of like, oh, really? It could have been better. But, you know, I don't know, maybe it was just me expecting too much out of it, and expecting it to be better than the first one, but it didn't do that well. I don't know. It's different. It's a different director, but they kept we kept with the the kind of visuals, but it's different, you know, art direction. They had a lot of cool sequences in it that was great visuals and stuff like that. But other than that, you're, it's, it wasn't a great story. It could I don't know. They just I don't know. Something about it was just like off for me, and I don't know. It, it that was my opinion. Let me know if you saw it or not, whether you liked it or not, and if you're like you know what I do, I like the first one. I didn't even bother, or I didn't bother with the first one because it looks stupid, and I'm not going to bother with this one. Let me know your comments below, and if you did see it, let me know your thoughts as well. Alright guys, I'll see you guys around for more. Bye.